Hi, today we're going to take an unboxing review of PS4 Gundam Versus. This is kind of an exclusive one to PS4 consoles. Because I know usually, like, they had, like, for Dynasty Warriors series of Gundams. Two or three, I believe it was. You know, it was on, like, the S spots and stuff. So, just PS4. For this one that they made it on. Um, this was the pre-order. So if you pre-order at GameStop or on Amazon. You got free, free DLC Gundams. <clears throat> so uh, the first DLC Gundam that you get. Was the Scramble Gundam. Which was featured in Gundam Build Fighters Tri-Fighters. Iron Wars, which was kind of like a whole new mm, sub movie, I guess you would call it. I guess that's kind of what you would kind of call that one. Not really quite a movie movie, but kind of like a sub extended time length episode. <clears throat> that's how most people tipped it. The scrum, that's scrum. The Scramble Gundam. No one liked the Gundam in the episode. No one liked the model kit. And the gameplay of that Scramble Gundam in this game, not the best. And here's what's kind of funny. The character that, you know, is the pilot is the Majin Kamagushki. You know, he's supposed to be like an ace Gunpla Battler. But here's what I say is funny about him. Well, you know, what they did for the game. They put him as his younger self. Even though the Gundam came out in between Tri Fighters. Yeah. Well, he was much older. So that's what bothers me. It doesn't make sense. Why put a garbage Gundam? In a game that no one liked as an episode, well, not episode, but like a movie, ish. No one liked it as a model kit at all. Okay, it had problems in animation, for like you know the cartoon, and in the actual real life model kit, problems in both. Okay, and here's the third problem: they put the young Majin Kawaguchi in there. You know. Which is from Gundam Built Fighters, but if you've seen Gundam Built Fighters Tri Fight or Tri Fighters, which is kind of like the couple years later on, I think like eleven years later on, in the future it's supposed to be set from you know the Built Fight series. Majin Kawaguchi is much older, so and since it is from the Tri Island Wars Team Tri Fighter, you know Iron War thing. What? They just made a mistake there, and they didn't catch it, Bandai. Bandai, how did you not catch a mistake? It came out when the dude was much older, and yet you have him as his younger self. What's up with that? Okay. That just deserves an explanation. Two is, oh, and uh, a little bit more. Why? Why the scramble gun from... Gundam Built Fires Try, or t I mean, there are so many other ones. There's the Burning Gundam Kamiki, the Kamiki version of the Burning Gundam. There is just like the Zader Gundam from there, the Winning Gun, the Star Winning Gun, the GM Cardigan. There's so many other good Built Fighter Tri Fighter Gundams to put in the game, and yet. Scrambo Gundam, the most worst garbage Gundam ever to be seen or made. Not only that, but the R2, there is the Gundam Double O Virtual Gundam, which I can't really say anything too bad. I mean, I kind of like Double O series. And then there is one that, get this. The Baratos Lupus. Now, is it the Baratos Lupus Wets? No. 
Are we going to get maybe in future DLCs the Bar Iron Boy Orphans, or IBO for short, Boruto's Lupus What? I don't know. I hope that we do. But for now, what comes stand in the game is just the Barbatos, and the free DLC of your pre order comes with the Barbatos Lupus. So, there's that. So, those are the free you know, guns that you get with the DLC Gundam Built Fight Tri Fires Scramble Gundam, Gundam Double Virtue Gundam, and Gundam. IBO or Iron Boy Orphans, Boruto's Lupus, which Boruto's Lupus, I don't really know how good he is. I know the original Boruto's is pretty awesome, which is featured right here, along with the art 782, which is really awesome. Now I know I said I'm going to do an unboxing this, and yeah, I'm talking, but and now we get into the unboxing. I just want to get all this information out there so that you kind of know, like, is it worth it to Pre-order, which you can't pre-order a game store anymore, but you can probably still get it on Amazon because Amazon still had you know. You could buy the standard edition, which looks like this, or you could buy you know the one that looks like this standard edition and it just comes with you know the code for the free new Gundams and what the new Gundams are. That was like from the pre-order and stuff. Uh, anyway, why well, find that they did that's kind of funny because Gundam Ironboard Orphans season one. Here in America, you know, on Toonami. They had that, right? And I was like, when are they going to show Season 2 of IBO Gundams? That's a pretty cool thing. We've been waiting, 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 and still waiting. And guess what they announced? They announced October 7th Gundam Iron Blood Orphans Season 2 comes out on the 7th. Which, you know what, is really, really funny, LL, you know, that Gundam vs. comes out, the release date was September 29th, and then exactly one week later, October 7th, the second season of Gundam Iron Blood Orphans hits the air here in America. Now, they could have released Gundam Iron Blood Orphans the second season, like maybe three, four months ago. But no, this is what made it so funny because of all the hype. They're like, Gundam vs. PS4 exclusive, you know, comes out on September 29th. And then they announced it on the Toonami you know, week to week previews like, Hey, Gundam Ironboard Orphans, the second season comes out October 7th. Coincidence? The game comes out the 29th, September 29th, and Gundam Iron Blood Orphans second season comes out October 7th, almost one week later. I think that's not a coincidence. They knew it. They were building up hype. Like, yeah, the game, and then, <gasps> then the second season? Yeah. So definitely a bit hyped. And it is way T for teen. Namco and Bandai, or Bandai Namco, you know, entertainment, they buy. Hearts. Now you know how you say this other name down here. Is it Zed's Zybe's free? Or is it like a free Zybe free? I know I ain't bothering trying to say that one. Now this one says that it's not region lot, so it will work on both Japanese and American consoles. Although I had seen on YouTube previews of you know the Japanese only one. Which has a way different system of buying stuff. It is a one player game. Uh, two to six players online. Takes up 14 gigabytes. You can use your PS4 remotely, which you know, your PS Vita looks like. There is English subtitles. Don't worry, the menus on here are in English, so you'll be able to know what you're doing and stuff. Is it like Dynasty Warriors? Eh, a little bit like Dynasty Warriors, but you don't have as much freedom as Dynasty Warriors. If you really want to customize your Gundams and build them and stuff, a lot of people are saying go with Gundam Breaker. Or I think it's Gundam Breaker Free. 
which is, you know, you gotta have Japanese PS4, because it's the Japanese one. But this one is, you know, the American one, all region, so yeah. Fantasy Violence, you know. Legends by Sunrise, so it is also a Sunrise one. Let's open it up. Here's what the game looks like. Very nice. And then there is this insert. The epic best-selling series returns. Mosu Gundam Wim. So own the complete series on Blu-ray or DVD or get the Collector's Archer Edition set. Fall 2017. Do by Gundam.com. Sunrise and White Surf. Or White Stuff. Um, like I said, I love Gundam Wim. That was kind of like my first Gundam series that I actually seen from the American one, like, uh, Wheatley Baseless and stuff. And kind of got into my first model kits with Gundam Wim. Uh, Neo Bird Mode, Wing Zill. So, yeah. Will I be picking this up? Probably. Which one will I be picking up? If I can finally get a hold of the Archer Edition one, I'm going to try to get in that one. If not... Blu-ray. On the other side, it just says the ones that are finally available in high def Blu-ray. You have, you know, Mosu Gunna, Mosu Gunna Part Two, Zeta, another Zeta, Double Zeta, um, Built Fight, and Built Fight Tri Fire. So, you know, the two different ones, like eleven years earlier, eleven years later, two different sets of heroes. Or, you know, the good guys, whatever you want to call them. Uh, Mosu Gundam. Mosu Gundam G Self or something. Reconnaissance and G. Uh, Victory Gundam. So, some Gundam series to look for that's finally done in Blue Way. So, yeah, that has kind of been the unboxing, the history of the. Gundam ish thing, you know, with Majin Kaguchi and how they mess up with that on the Scramble Gundam. The DLC Gundams, is it worth it to pre order? Yeah, I would say so. For, you know, a couple of the Gundams, at least the Double O Virtue and IBO, Iron Boy Orphans, Boatos Lupus. Those ones look pretty good. But, uh, the Scramble Gundam. No, that is just pure garbage. Considering that there is tons of other Bill Fight Tri Fighters to Gundam series to put in it that would be way better. But yeah, hopefully, you know, you got some information. IBO, second season, a total of seven coming out. So if you're like, when is season two coming out? That's when. I'm definitely going to be watching it. So yeah. We're going to waste subscribing and leave a comment. Alright, thanks. Bye.